everybody, it's me Olivia and I'm back with another video for you guys. Today I'm going to be doing a Play-Doh tutorial, how to make Play-Doh. Um, and yeah, I wanted to say Merry Christmas you guys because tomorrow's Christmas Eve. <laughs> so yeah, um, let me show you the ingredients okay, for the Play-Doh. So you're going to be needing some lotion of your choice, Oops. some oil, vegetable oil, wait no, canola oil, or vegetable oil works, some flour, and lastly, some water. So, so to start, you're gonna get your water. You can use any amount of water you'd like because this is really depending on how much Play-Doh you want. If you want a big batch of Play-Doh, add a lot of water. If you want a little batch of Play-Doh, add a little water. So, yeah. So you're gonna get your water. I have the, like a tablespoon or two. A tablespoon and a half, I would say. And then you're gonna get your canola oil. And you're gonna put that like that. I'm gonna put it on the lid and do that. Pour it in. Okay. So canola oil and water. You're gonna mix that up. So here's what it looks like, the canola oil and water being mixed up. You want to get those bubbles. Okay. Next okay. step. Now what you're gonna do is get your flour. You're gonna add a very little amount of flour at a time. You get another spoon. <laughs> Got another spoon. Okay. You're gonna get a little amount of flour at a time and slowly and gradually put it in your mixture and mix it up. So little flour in and you're gonna mix it up. You can clearly see this is not enough. So, more flour and more mixing. Right, so let's get to this point where it's like kind of thick, but it's a little thin. You're gonna go in with your lotion and just gradually add a couple pumps of that in and keep it. Okay, so I'm putting my lotion in now. Put a couple pumps in, like three or four. And mix that up. At this part, if you want it to get like really soft, you're gonna add a lot of lotion and mix a lot. Like, make sure you mix it super thoroughly. Super, super thoroughly so you can break down all those flour clumps and just get a super soft and moist. So, yeah. You can see that it softened and moistened it up a lot. Super moist now. We're gonna go on my more mix it up a little bit more okay we've got this really nice like moist this your battery pancake battery kind of texture a little thicker probably and um, but yeah now we're gonna add some more flour and continue doing the process we were doing before by gradually going in with an amount of flour my arms hurting but yeah so I'm gonna just do a time lapse here, so see you in a second. Okay guys, so I'm at a texture right now where it's formed to a little ball. So that means it's time to hand knead, like as if it was actual dough, cookie dough or something. And we're just gonna put some flour on our hands right now because the flour is gonna be like, like I, like I said, just like cookies. So it's gonna help it not stick to us. So I'm just kneading. This really looks like I'm making cookies right now. <laughs> but you can see that this is getting to a stage where it's really just not sticking at all, so. We're almost done with this, so 
Yeah, almost done. Just gonna continuously add our flour in. And I also wanted to mention, make sure you do not consume this because there's lotion in it. Lotion is not edible, I don't believe. <laughs> so, don't consume it. Ooh, almost done. Okay. I think this is the last bit of flour we're gonna need because look, it's not like sticking anymore. Ooh, it's like really nice. Okay, see you guys in a second. Okay guys, so I cleaned my surface up and I've got this dough ball. Now what you're gonna wanna do next is to get a little more flour you're gonna create a hole in your dough, dough ball thing. Put more flour in it so it can get a little like overdone. <laughs> kind of just exploded on me. But like, yeah, get it a little over hardened because you're gonna add more lotion after that because you really want like a super soft texture because when you're kneading it with the flour, it will probably create some clumps which will make it like harder. So when you add the lotion, it's kind of just gonna break that all down and make it super nice and smooth and platily. So just gonna, like I said, like overactivate you could say, because this is like almost, it like, it's familiar to a slime where like the flour is the activator and the water, vegetable oil and lotion are like the glue. Well, the water is really the glue oil and lotion are add-ons so yeah. sorry if you can hear my dog barking okay um so it's about over like activated now And it's like almost a little pokey. So it's not like completely like Play-Doh because it's a little more um, pokey than Play-Doh. But yeah. Oh, a <laughs> little more. Okay. So I'll see you guys in one second. Um. So just gonna quickly mix this in. So yeah, it's done and over activated. So now it's time for a little more lotion. Two pumps. So what I'm doing. You can add more though, if you like, because I might need to add a little more. And if you accidentally add too much lotion, just add a little more flour in. If you accidentally add too little lotion, just add more. <sighs> and you just wanna knead this really nicely. Knead it really nicely. So I'm gonna be working into this, just kneading it for a little bit. So I'll do a time lapse of this. Okay guys, so I am working it a little bit more, but as you can see, come to a nice soft Play-Doh. So you can keep it at this. 
um, with like out any color and that's what I'm gonna be doing because I don't think it needs color but yeah okay guys so here's the final play-doh I really like it it's super nice like if you ever stressed out you can just rip off a chunk and... but for some reason whenever I make play-doh it's always like pokey So this isn't like exactly Play-Doh because it's like pokier and stretchier, but not that much stretchier, so. Um, but yeah, it's really similar to Play-Doh because it's creamy, moldable, and soft. So I really love it. And it's a really nice household craft to do. So, yeah. Okay guys, here is the final results. Final. Super fun. Creamy. Play-Doh. And it's moldable, so I really like it. And you can give it as a gift for Christmas if you guys want. If you're like, like, <gasps> Oh my gosh, like two days till Christmas, one day till Christmas, I don't even know how many days till Christmas, but I need, need to get a gift for my sister. So, then you could just make some Play-Doh. So, fun DIY. So, yeah, that's the end of this video. Hope you all enjoyed, and see you all next.